Coca-Cola could be just another soda brand among many found in bars, restaurants, and supermarkets. Surprisingly, the beverage, initially conceived as a medicine, transcended its simple nature to become a symbol of modern society. Its famous logo adorns a variety of items, from clothing to home decor, highlighting its cultural influence. Despite being one of the most recognized brands in the world, Coca-Cola spares no effort to remain in the minds of consumers. We are daily exposed to various advertisements that often associate the product with moments of happiness. However, this cheerful and optimistic image contrasts with the reality in regions like Mexico, where the company's aggressive marketing strategies have resulted in a population addicted to soda and sugar, causing a serious public health problem and the deaths of thousands of people. Coca-Cola is one of the few companies that have mastered the world, using not only its closely guarded secret formula, but also a peculiar business model. By focusing on syrup production and leaving bottling to partner companies, such as Fomento Economico Mexicano, FEMSA, Coca-Cola has established itself as one of the most popular and consumed brands globally. In Mexico, this partnership has been particularly successful. Through an aggressive marketing campaign, the company became omnipresent, infiltrating every aspect of daily life. Coca-Cola's massive presence, coupled with its almost ubiquitous availability, led Mexicans to incorporate the soda into their meals and social events. This strategy proved so effective that, in 2019, Mexico became the country with the highest per capita soda consumption in the world. However, this high consumption does not come without consequences. In states like Chiapas, where Coca-Cola has become an integral part of daily life, health problems arising from excessive consumption are alarming. Despite initially being seen as a symbol of progress and development, Coca-Cola's presence in regions like Chiapas has brought more problems than benefits. The increased demand for water for soda production exacerbated the already existing supply problems in the region, further aggravating the water shortage problem. To meet its needs, the company obtained authorization from the federal government to extract about half a million cubic meters of water annually from two deep wells. As more water was diverted for soda production, less and less reached the taps of residents. On one hand, residents often need to travel long distances to obtain potable water. On the other hand, finding a cold Coca-Cola is much easier and also economically accessible for a series of factors that we will explore further. A bottle of Coca-Cola or water in the region has practically the same value. Knowing these facts, it is not surprising that in the region of San Cristobal de las Casas, each resident consumes on average more than two liters of soda per day. This figure unfortunately puts the region in first place by far in global soda consumption. Just to note, this is another case where the cheap ends up being expensive, very expensive. To win over consumers in a region marked by poverty, Coca-Cola adopted the strategy of reducing prices to the maximum and making the product available in as many sales points as possible. Thus, the product is available even in isolated indigenous villages, accessible only by plane or by long trails in the jungle. Speaking of price, according to the newspaper El Pace in 2016, while one liter of milk cost 16 pesos, a three-liter bottle of Coca-Cola cost 35 pesos. However, as mentioned earlier, the cheap ends up being expensive, and in the case of Mexico, the price is being paid in lives. Some recent studies indicate that three out of four Mexicans are overweight, and the country is the second in the world with the highest number of obese people, second only to the United States. This problem is so serious that obesity is already considered an epidemic. Weight gain is directly linked to various diseases, such as diabetes. In recent years, the number of people with diabetes has increased by about 10%, becoming the second leading cause of death, second only to heart disease. These national data already give an idea of what happens in the state of Chiapas, where the consumption of sugary drinks is five times higher than in the rest of the country. In the state of Chiapas, which has about 5,600,000 inhabitants, 3,000 people lose their lives every year due to diabetes-related diseases. In addition to deaths, there are other effects of the disease, such as amputations and blindness. Not even children are free from it. According to various reports, many children have contact with sodas even before they turn one-year-old. A survey conducted in 22 cities in the Altos de Chiapas region found that about 10% of mothers give the drink to their children before they turn six months old when they should be exclusively breastfed. The percentage of children who consume sodas daily, especially Coca-Cola, only increases with age. The effects are devastating because in just one 600 milliliters bottle, there are over 60 grams of sugar, 
twice the amount recommended by the World Health Organization for an adult. When it comes to children, this amount is up to four times higher than the recommended limit. This early exposure to such a sweet drink is creating a generation of sugar addicts who consume increasingly larger quantities and always opt for sweeter foods. Finally, if this content has impacted you, don't forget to leave your opinion in the comments. What do you think about this? Does a company have the right to socially impact the behavior of a people in exchange for profit?